Hello, beautiful soul. Hello, hello. How are you today? <clears throat> Welcome. Whew. Maintenance. Oh, whoa, the glitter's on. <laughs> Hold on. It's cute, but we don't need glitter. Hello. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Welcome to this day. Welcome again to this existence. What a blessing to be here, huh? Blessing to be a human. <laughs> Blessing to even be aware. Oh, yeah. mm. Let's take a moment to just feel and breathe some gratitude into where you are right now. <clears throat> You might get some messages on what you need, what you're fulfilled in. That is something we always ooh, bring the awareness around lack, what we need, what we need to become, who we need to become. But it's also a really great moment and energy and time to just feel into to what's going right. <laughs> Think about the greatness within yourself, how bomb you are, what you've accomplished, even just on this day, even just this morning. Some people may think that there's nothing really to celebrate within self. Maybe you're in a routine that repeats itself every day. But hey, that's something that could be commended to you committing to a routine. Do you know how hard it is for people to implement a habit, a daily habit or a routine or something to do every day in order to enrich their lives? You're doing that in some way or another. Like you brush your teeth, you eat at a certain time, you, what, what are things that you do every day? that betters your life, your health. And speaking of bettering our lives and our health, I do want to talk about that today. I do want to pull some cards. I mean, I had a feeling that I wanted to do some tarot, but I just got this um, this message to um, to put forth for you guys, for you all. <laughs> And that is to take care of this body of yours, this vessel of yours. And I know, I actually know that I'm always saying it. It's actually within my human design profile as well as my gene keys to be someone who is the exemplary human, the example of who to be in terms of um, a human, <laughs> humanness. So that means health, that means mindset, that means uh, embodiment joy for life like the very simple pleasantries in life i am here to mirror and project that to all of you the little the self-love this the pleasantries of life and and just being <laughs> being still the stillness all of that is in my gene keys and in my human design and i just feel it so deeply because that's what I'm here to do. Also, my Jupiter is in the sixth house, the house of expansion. And so health, I'm definitely here to project. Anyway, <laughs> please, if you do not know your human design, you must, you must, okay? Look up your human design. You must know what time you were born, the location, and the day. <laughs> I always do that, and day and um, see what your type is. 
comment what your type is okay i want to know i'm a manifester i also am a human design reader so if you find that upon discovering human design you want to know more you want to know more about you like in depth i've got you okay let's do a one-on-one reading so i can tell you your magic your power and your purpose here your energy Hmm. My yeah, I'm literally here to to heal people and ignite people and awaken people. It's so cool. One day I'm gonna do a um, video on my my human design because it is truly the most it is the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> but right now I do feel as though not enough people are like really. Um, curious about my human design <laughs> at the moment which is fine in due time so moving forward what i want to just put forth is to take care of this body of yours you're going to think that you can get away with say not going to the gym or not eating healthily for a certain extent of time and it's just too easy to do right because there's no repercussions on there's no immediate repercussions but what you're doing is wearing and tearing and drudging down your body more and more and every single day that you choose to not bless yourself with the nutrients that your body deserves to give yourself a break on the intense things that you're putting into your body maybe alcohol maybe uh, any kind of chemicals like uh, energy drinks things of the sort just taking a break from those things and allowing yourself to just hydrate have some things from the earth have a little bit more fruits and vegetables just chewing choosing things along those lines additionally getting your heart rate up multiple times a week at least get your heart rate up for 20 minutes straight as many days as you can every week okay get your heart rate up to the 120 the 120 range and up for 20 minutes for as many days as possible as you can take care of this body because here's what it's about and people are gonna people are going to there are perceptions all kind of perceptions in the world out there and I want you to filter that out I want you to truly just stay honed in on facts and how you feel and your alignment to the message rather than oh this is going to happen or this is how i'm going to be perceived or this is what's going to shh, shh silence all that matters is here and now okay and what you align with okay <laughs> so what you're going to want to do is just always just obviously like take and choose what aligns with you and what does not align with you <laughs> yes yes oh my gosh i know it's just so important and so um oh my goodness <laughs> One moment. That threw me off a little bit. <clears throat> that has to be something to like be be doing this and then have like so many people commenting at the same time, like in a row, just ch -ch 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 -ch, and staying on topic with what you're saying. Interesting. <laughs> With that said, guys, if you are watching this, I am working and aiming to get to a thousand followers on TikTok so that I can go live over there. Okay, so help me get to my goal of a thousand followers on TikTok. I'm Melamind. I also am on YouTube um, as Melamind as well. <sighs> Let's take a deep breath. Mm. And take in all that. I, I know I was talking at you for a while, but just take it all in, breathe it in. You are the foundation of your final word, okay? Please don't let outside sources get 
in the way of your projection of where you're going, please. I know there's been many times when you've been on the route of getting to somewhere, you made the plan, you did the action, but then you told somebody and then something they said, oh, now you're overthinking it a little bit. Or now you're like, oh, well, they didn't like it. And now, now it's on the back burner. And it's like, please, please don't allow those things to you. You won't, you won't let that happen to you again, okay? Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Hold that out there. Hold this promise, this promise to yourself that you will have the life that you desire and you will do what it takes to have it, to align to it, to align with it. It's yours. It's already in here. You just have to feel it. So be brave enough to pause and feel it. <sighs> Exhale anything that stands to hold you back. Anything that says no, anything that tells you no, anything that says maybe not. We don't have room for any kind of swaying, any kind of negative energies, negative entities that may be calling to you, calling at you, saying yes, choose the comfort zone. It's beautiful and wonderful over here. It's better, I promise, 1212. But you know that going forward, you don't choose the comfort zone. You choose what is for you. And that means being liked. That means letting go the need of being liked, accepted, commended. You've got to push past that. On this journey, you don't get validation except from yourself. So take the moment every day to validate yourself. But I'm telling you, if you are still in the mindset and in the, in the person of waiting for what you want because you want validation or because you want to see proof that it is okay, you want to see proof that it's been done before, you want to see proof that it can work, you got to get going on that right now, okay? Because your success is on the other side of that mindset. When you stop thinking that you have to know everything in order to launch, when you stop thinking that you have to know that, that what the end game looks like in order to launch, you've got to let go of control. You've got to let go of control and just stay in the moment with the passion and the actions that it takes to achieve where you're going. Get out of the future, get out of the past, Stay right here and commit to those tasks, the habits, the actions that are going to lead you to your higher self, that's going to lead your business to its highest fruition and close out any mindset or any outside energy that is telling you otherwise. This is yours. It's all yours. Okay. It's right here. And this pause that we are about to take this moment to just saturate all of that in is so vital, so important for you to show up and just breathe, breathe into your, your vessel, breathe into who you are, how you are, what you want, what those actions are going to be, and then just stay in the present every day towards it. Whew, I needed that today too. <laughs> Thank you, universe, my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's, let's take a moment and just breathe into that. Mm. Yes, my goodness. Breathe in what you need, what you are calling for. And if you don't know, just be silent and listen. Listen to your body.
Remember that you are the observer. Deliver the breath.
ahead and invite a deep breath. Deep breath into your vessel. I'm right in front of a window and it's glorious <laughs> by design. Hello. How was that? How was that pause? That moment. Are there any notable downloads, any notable thoughts that came to you during the pause? I will admit, for me, work thoughts came up of what I'm doing after this. <laughs> And that's okay. Sometimes when meditating, whatever comes up, comes up. And we do take this time to take a little break from, from work or whatever the day has been delivering us. And sometimes, you know, we just want to keep going. I personally have a wonderful, fun job. <laughs> I get to be creative and just do pretty much what I want and so my brain is always sending me things sending me new things and I'm like ah. <laughs> hmm. Whew, just breathe into this moment okay so Let's do the tarot. So this is the Light Sears. The Light Sears is just one of my favorite favorites. And my actually my first tarot deck. I am a light. I am a seer. <laughs> and yeah, these just resonate so much with me. And the book, Chris Ann, the book the descriptions of the cards are just so enlightening and so beautiful and yeah it's just wonderful <laughs> tell your kind mind yes you are so welcome thank you so much for being here and for joining me for taking the pause with yourself it can be just so easy to do everything else everything else but this is the most important time and like going on walks and journaling and dancing and doing something creative like buying some canvas and paint and just going wild or like getting some clay and making something just have fun be silly be silly in life we're humans which is like the coolest thing because there's a wide variety of things we can do wide variety of activities we can do and we have the nerve to be bored we have the nerve to look to technology for for motivation of what to be excited about look at look at outside oh my goodness <laughs> the nerve <laughs> no it's been quite the journey for sure okay angels ancestors spirit guides what do we have okay what do we have for us right now all right yes all right so let's do more judgment mm -hmm. so kind of like what i was saying at the beginning about the just not really caring about what other people are saying and thinking when it comes to your activation in this world okay because when you have an idea you can push forward and when you let those ideas come to your head and get into your mind that's when you end up stepping back stepping back from your winnings your earnings that you could be having i mean let that creativity flow let that 
burst of energy and creativity flow. If it helps, maybe just n don't tell anybody about it right at the beginning and then push forth and allow it to sprout without your judgment, without outside judgment. That way it can become what it is. And <laughs> the judgment card, I mean, just release yourself from this kind of judgment that's coming because you are wise about your goals. You are wise about where you are going. You are wise about who you are. You are the queen, okay? You are the king. You are are that embodied energy of your life but you allow uh, visions and other people's words and outside perceptions and what ifs and maybes get into your way that is not your story you you don't allow yourself to hold yourself back anymore you are the king of wands the king of fires the freaking entrepreneur okay divine masculine let that divine masculine rise within you let the divine feminine and masculine play within you to birth this creativity that you desire that you are here for that you need okay no more judgments no more we are absolutely finished with the self judgments we are finished with the um with the energies that aren't for us just straight up straight up i actually really i like the way that this message was going but yeah i mean death and rebirth all of that the second guessing the things that are coming into your way those that's old uh, old news okay death and rebirth you let it go and you come back 10 times stronger so i guess yeah let's read the the death and rebirth card um I, if you're resonating with that let me know write something in the comments um on the repost like if you're listening to this and it definitely resonates let me know like and share and all that fun stuff so death and rebirth cycles and transformations rebirth transition change new beliefs newfound awareness endings a symbolic death and an initiation process okay are you ready to initiate the person that you are becoming you are on the cusp of a massive transformation and it's time to mourn the end of one phase while celebrating the birth of another this energy of transmutation and rebirth signals a beautiful metamorphosis that will allow you to expand your consciousness and move closer to your own divine essence a cycle in your life a relationship a belief a career path or an outdated plan for the future is coming to an inevitable end deep breath if this scares you sweet light <laughs> this change is needed know that this card urges you to release what is already losing energy and to focus on things that are already gaining momentum Welcome the possibility of something new and allow this phase to come to a graceful end. Look toward the magic of this newfound horizon because underneath its morbid exterior, the death card heralds exciting times filled with the brightness of so much potential. New light awakes. Awaits. And then there's an affirmation right here in the book, which I love about this deck. I allow myself to let go of the past in order to add energies to new beginnings. I allow myself to let go of the past in order to add energy to new beginnings. And that is for you. That is all yours. That is for you. You are ready. That past energy that just keeps stopping you every time you're taking the step to your to your dream, to your goal life. And you allow those thoughts to stop you. Oh, it's all gone. Those days are gone. Because you, here's the reality of how it works. So you're going to be in the flow of your life. You're going to itemize the things that truly are going to lead you to your life and you're going to commit to the actions okay and then it, there's going to come a time where your your past beliefs your past selves your past thoughts are going to just come right up they're going to come that is the judgment that is where you stand in the middle 
and you have the choice. It's the, the wonderful split in the road. <laughs> will you indeed choose that route or will you choose the new route that leads you to your, to your highest self? And what you're really doing is you're bringing awareness to something that is within you. That way you can actually observe it when it does come up. That's really all it is. Because otherwise, when, it do, when you do bring awareness to it, at the end of the day, if you are aware of it now and you're choosing that action, you're literally just watching yourself go against yourself. You're watching yourself choose the opposite of what you said you wanted for yourself. Why are you doing that? <laughs> no, but you won't do that anymore. Death and rebirth. We are on to the next new wonderful life. <laughs> so let's just take a little moment to just breathe all of that in. I hope I hope that you enjoyed that message. That was that was fun. I enjoyed that message as well. Um <laughs> yeah, so let's breathe into that literally. Uh, and just remember that you are worthy. Everything you dream, just aim high. Aim high because you can have it. Because it's all here already. <sighs> Gratitude. <laughs> you have access to this always. Always. Thank you so much for joining, beautiful soul. Have an amazing day. <laughs>